Welcome to a quick tour of the Metrics That Matter interface. This interface was designed to help you find your most common tasks more efficiently, while also helping you discover all of Metrics That Matter's tools available to you. Please note, this video may include tools or menus that are not available in your subscription. Please contact Knowledge Advisors if you'd like to learn more about these offerings. The first thing you'll notice is that Metrics That Matter is organized into four areas Dashboards, Reporting, Administration, and My Settings. In this tour, we will visit each of these tabs and highlight things that are important for you to know. Our tour starts here on the Dashboard tab. This tab provides quick access to reports and other dashboard widgets based on your subscription. To explore other widgets you can add to your dashboard, Please see your dashboard actions. Next, we will visit the Reporting tab. On this tab and the Administration and My Settings tab, you'll see we have created navigation panes on the left side of the page. The top pane provides navigation to tools that are specific to this tab, while other panes, such as Queued Reports and My Favorites, are available consistently across all three tabs. Here in the Find a Reports pane, we have created lists and icons to help you locate reports more efficiently. When you visit the Reporting tab, the My Recent Reports list will display the last 10 unique reports that you have run, providing you instant access to the reports that you run most often. If the My Recent Reports list does not contain 10 items, a secondary list called Featured Reports is presented to highlight reports that Knowledge Advisors recommends that you explore. You'll also notice the icons for each report. These icons help identify a report at a glance. The Show All Reports list will display an alphabetical list of all reports that are available to you based on your subscription. You can also sort this list by most popular reports or by newest reports, which is based on the report release date. You'll notice that when the Show All Reports list is selected, the Find a Report pane expands to reveal a new section called Narrow Results By. This feature allows you to filter down your list to locate a report based on report type and or objective. You can select one item from each group, and when you do, the list of results on the right will immediately update to display reports that match your selection. Let's look at the rest of the navigation pane of the Reporting tab. Automating class-based reporting and scheduling other reports is now quickly accessible by using the links under the Manage Reports. Your list of queued reports comes next in the navigation pane, providing quick access to recently run report results. And finally, My Favorites. My Favorites will be pre-populated with some suggested reports and administrative tools if you have not customized it yet. Next, let's look at the Administration tab so that I can explain how we have organized your administrative tasks. The default category displayed is Schedule Training, where you will find common tools to set up courses, schedule classes, and manage users and instructors. You will find active authoring and form management under the Manage Evaluations category. And you'll notice that the queued reports and My Favorites are still available on the left so that you're able to access your queued reports without having to switch back to the Reporting tab. Next, we will visit the My Settings tab. The categories under this tab will provide quick access to your settings. Most importantly, this is where you can view and change your information, such as MTM login, password, and email address. Other options in the My Settings will allow you to customize your benchmark settings, set reporting goals, and configure other report options. Finally, MTM Help is accessible by a link at the top of the page, making it accessible no matter where you are within Metrics That Matter. That concludes our tour of the Metrics That Matter user interface.
Thank you. And if you have additional questions, please contact us at solutions at knowledgeadvisors.com.